This week in a series we call Champions for Change, CNN is bringing you stories of everyday people who are changing society and getting things done. Tonight, I'm honored to bring the story of my champion for change, my friend Jimmy Hatch. He's a retired Navy SEAL who's working to avoid the mistakes learned by the war in Afghanistan for future American conflicts. And he's doing it with the help of college students, many of whom were just babies at the beginning of the United States' longest war. It's been a long journey for former Navy SEAL Jimmy Hatch to the halls of Yale. At 55, after a lifetime of service, he's finally pursuing his college degree and investigating the war that nearly cost him his life. We first met Jimmy back in 2015. Hostage rescue stuff is really hard. He was speaking out for the first time about a mission to rescue Army soldier Bo Bergdahl in Afghanistan. On the mission, Jimmy Hatch suffered a catastrophic gunshot wound. Hit me right above the knee. It sent the bone kind of out the back of my leg. Jimmy had to be rescued. Bandaged and bleeding, his 21 years as a Navy SEAL were over. <laughs> he was awarded the Purple Heart and Bronze Star for his actions that night. We will not lose this war because that's deep. There's a lot of layers and we're all blessed. Hatch was blessed to survive but his military dog, Remco, was killed on the mission. He honored Remco and other working dogs who helped save lives by founding Spike's Canine Fund, a charity that provides protective gear and training for working dogs who face danger. In 2017, I first profiled Jimmy as a champion for change. He convinced me to go skydiving with him to raise money for Spike's Canine Fund. <laughs> 2019, after a chance meeting with a Yale professor on another skydiving trip, Jimmy was encouraged to apply to Yale's Eli Whitney program for non-traditional students with exceptional backgrounds and aspirations. And a few months later, I received an email saying that I was accepted. <laughs> and I was shocked, and I looked at my wife, and she said, you'd be an idiot if you didn't go. So, age 52, Jimmy Hatch became the oldest freshman in Yale's class of 2023. Last year, during the United States' chaotic withdrawal from Afghanistan, I asked Jimmy to come on CNN, someone who fought and lost so much there. I just think we, we did a lot of wrong things in Afghanistan, and I think the solution is to figure out how not to do it again. Turns out, Yale University liked Jimmy's idea. In a matter of weeks, they designed a year-long class to investigate what went wrong in Afghanistan and produce a report of their findings. They invited Jimmy, the undergraduate, to not only take the graduate-level class, but to be an unofficial co-professor with retired U.S. Ambassador Ann Patterson. Jimmy was basically the <laughs> founder, the brainchild behind the course, and he was a huge benefit because Jimmy had had on-the-ground experience in Afghanistan. My first class was in that. Jimmy, when he came to Yale, I think showed us that education is service too. That his service to the country didn't end when he stopped being a Navy SEAL and serving in active combat, but his idea that this was a new phase of his service to the country and that he was there to learn something so that the world would be better. The class spent months speaking to a number of generals, ambassadors, members of the Afghan Special Forces, and even a spokesman for the Taliban. I do believe that one of the things that needs to happen if the military is gonna stop being the easy button for how we solve things is we're gonna to have to talk to people we don't wanna to talk to. And so for me, the last people in the world I wanna to talk to was the Taliban. Jimmy Hatch hopes the report will inspire Americans of all walks of life to hold the country's leaders accountable in America's future conflicts. I believe that in a way, a part of the United States of America died in Afghanistan, and that my classmates and I picked them up and brought them into our classroom and are attempting to bury them with respect and learn the lessons that created them. Well, if you're interested in reading the report by Jimmy and his class, there's the link at the bottom of your screen, bit.l-y forward slash Yale 20-year war. Also, if you want to find out more about Jimmy's charity, go to spikescaninefund.org. Be sure to tune in Saturday, 8 p.m. Eastern, for the Champions for Change one-hour special. The news